What's up, YouTube fam? We're out here today. I'm going out with my brother Nick on his boat, the 37 foot Freeman. Uh, I haven't even been on this boat yet. Haven't been fishing on it, haven't even been on a ride for it. But we're gonna go out there today, try to catch some uh, golden tile fish, deep dropping. Uh, we got a crew with us today. We're all gonna keep our safe social distance though, and we're gonna have some fun out there. So come take a ride. Cut it up! No, we got paint go. now! Look at that! Look at that! Oh yeah! Alright. What we got there, Ricky? Get, get the side of it. Toothy critter, barracuda. We were throwing in the towel. Got the bite on the last second. Trolling a dead ballyhoo on wire. Big boy! Oh yeah. Alright. We got fresh bait, guys. That could be the ticket. We got some nice de-thawed squids here. Tell us about what you're doing there, Bean. Well, what I'm doing right here, I kind of want the uh, squid to lay flat on the hook. So I'm hooking it twice. I'll show you real quick. The first place I put it, right here by the top, right through the center. Come down, pull that up. Get a little bit of a bend in there, these circle hooks. Put that second one down and pull it up so it stays on there nice and good. And get that eye to hook, pop right through that first hole that we did. Very nice. Always important with that circle hook, you want that hook to uh, be able to get into the fish's mouth and have not have the bait impede on it. That's right. Even got a nice chunk of the fresh barracuda. You guys might be wondering why we're using the electric reels. We got on an eight pound lead, a piece of rebar, eight pounds. It's 740 feet deep here. We're gonna be fishing 700,000 feet today. Cranking a five to 10 pound lead is not fun. Might have just marked some there, you guys. Could be them. Ooh, towel fish on the sonar. All right, Brandon, you ready? Yes, sir. Five seconds and we're going down. Uh, you can hit the uh, free spool. All righty, go ahead, Brandon. Deploy. Yeah, hit the quicker. All right, we're going down. All right, we're on the bottom there. Reel it up just a little bit here. Let her sit. All right, time to bring her up. We got something on the end there, we think. Might not be very big, but we're thinking it might be a, uh, a rose fish. Let's see. All right, we're getting close here. We got something. We got huh? a tile fish or dog fish? Let's look at tile, I think.
grab this one out here. Here we go. Let's get a good look at this guy. Look at that. Ugly thing. Alright, he's ugly. He's about as ugly as me. All blowing up. But I bet he's good eating. Is that first take you ever That's my first take. We, we only catch a few of those here. I've caught a handful, but uh, rare yeah, catch. Yeah, look at these little weird things there. It's like a catfish almost. There's some kind of like sensors. Look like hell. All right. Two for two on our drops. Beam, don't put any pressure on it. We're tangled up. Stop cranking on it. Big rosy there, you guys. Steven got one. Black belly rose fish, they're full of spikes. Look at their cheeks there. Look at the gills. Thing will lay you open. Black belly rose fish, got a black throat in there. When you clean them, their belly lining is really black too. Yikes, they got spikes. Look at their head right there. Nick says he likes these to kind of drag along the bottom, so we're just kind of letting it drag down there as we drift. So the cool thing about fishing this braid deep dropping, you can actually see that rod tip bounce when you hit the bottom and when a fish grabs it. So even though it's 800 feet down there, when you get a bite, you're going to see that thing bounce. When you hit bottom, your rod tip's going to go stiff, you know, because there's no pressure on it. So you can kind of tell exactly what's going on. So we're just going to keep our eye on it, watch for the bite and uh, hopefully get something nice here. Get a tile, that's a tile. Get him, get him, that's a tile, that's a tile. Tile, baby, tile. We got him, we got him on. Mm. Woo, smoking drag. That bait wasn't down there for 30 seconds and it got piled on. We've been dripping around out here for hours with nothing hardly. Just goes to show you, you never know. You're only a cast away from being a hero. So this could either be a golden tile or a barrel fish. We're gonna find out hopefully. Right. Electric reel's doing its thing. We're pulling them in nice and easy. Not trying to pull too hard. Stalemate. You can see how hard it's struggling. This fish is fighting. Stalemate. Fingertip this thing up. Just helping it along. Nice and steady. 100. 100. I'm gonna look at it here shortly. 80, 80 feet. Getting close. I can see color. I see color. What we got there? What we got? It's a big tile. It's white. It's white. I think it's a big tile. I think it's a big tile. It's a giant tile fish. It's a giant tile fish. Monster tile. Get him, Bean. Don't lose him. It's a giant barrel fish. Oh my god, it's the biggest barrel fish I've ever seen. Oh my god. 
at that monster barrel. Check him out. Look at that. Look at that hook right there. spot for that hook to be. Barrel fish. Come here, Richard. Big barrel. All right, I'll get in there. It smells like a barrel. I touched him for like two seconds and look at how slimy my hands are. Oh. Bean, what are you doing over there? <laughs> As you can see, the slime is really thick on these slime. fish. I know it is. It's, it's a they're fish. super slimy. <laughs> Show me one more time. It's corona slime. Oh, wow. It's like a cheese pool. <laughs> Holy moly. Getting some bites. Now you may be asking why we're using an electric reel, but you know we're in over 800 feet of water, 840 feet, an eight-pound piece of rebar for our sinker. We've been out here three and a half hours. We just want to catch dinner. We're not trying to sport fish here. We want dinner fish. We want groceries. Steven could have a tile fish on. We really want a golden tile. Ricky got a tile. I hope so. Ricky got a huge barrel fish, 26 pounds, on the boga grip, and uh, a couple of rosies and a hake so far. We need a tile. Starving. 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 Steady Steve is in a tile fish. They got this little fin on top of their head, this little wiggler too. Oh, yeah, that's a 25 pound. Oh yeah. Bean, that's the first tile fish you've ever seen golden? The first time I've ever seen a golden tile. First time he's ever right. seen a golden tile. First I've ever seen too. Oh boy. Oh, first one Ricky ever seen oh, too. Oh boy, look at that now. Alright, all right, we're gonna weigh him here. Alright guys, we're gonna put him on bogus, see where he goes. It's a 30 pound scale. Let's see where he goes on it. What we got? 29? Ooh, 29 pounds it looks like, guys. No, it's bottomed out now. What we got there? I think it's bottomed out. That's a 30 pounder. That's there 30, you guys, the scale goes to 30 pounds. It's bottomed out. 30 pound golden tile fish, 820 feet of water. Sweet! All right, guys, well, we're calling it a day on the deep drop grounds, but a uh, successful trip. We got a nice golden tile, got a big barrel fish, and got a few small, uh, what were they, black belly rose fish? black belly rosefish and don't forget about the hake first fish in the boat uh, so not bad a little bit of a run up here and uh, you know just a lot of fishing time you got to put in but a few different species and some good eating food and hey great way to spend the day all right 